Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Data Sculptor. Today we are going to see another interesting SQL question. Uh, to be frank, this is the most uh, difficult question I have uh, solved in the recent days. So the question is, you have a hierarchy as you see, uh, B A as the super manager, B and C as the managers and you have some members uh, reporting to B uh, and rep some members reporting to C. So the question is the output. So you need to find all the employees. Um, you need to group the employees. So the employees under this entire tree should be under one group, and this entire tree under should be under one group. So if you see employee A, A is group ID one, employee B is group ID one, D, E, and G. D, E, and G are the single group ID. And again A comes in comes uh, should be assigned employee uh, group ID two as well because this A is the super manager and he falls under all the groups. And group employee ID C under group ID two, and employee ID F under group ID two. So this is the question and this is the solution. So now let's go back to SQL Server Studio and see how to solve this. So as discussed, this is the input data where you have two columns: manager ID and employee ID. Manager ID null, employee ID A as A is the topmost employee, and like that you have the entire data. So first, what I'll do, I'll write the query such that. Uh, for each and every employee ID, I'll uh, I'll create a new column where uh, all the all his managers will be coming. So how we'll create for employee ID, say uh, for employee ID B, the new column will be A slash B, okay. And for employee ID C, the new column will be A slash C. And for employee ID D, the column will be A slash B slash D, because D is reporting to B and B is reporting to A. So in this way, so in this way for each and every employee, I'll create this column. So how do we create this column? We have a powerful uh, way in SQL that is called recursivity. So for recursivity, we all know the anchor part. We have to write an anchor part. So which is select from uh, this organization chart where manager ID is null. And the first thing is employee ID, comma. I'll create summary column. We have to create one column called summary. Because uh, a slash b, a slash c, and all, I have to keep this in a varchar format, right? So, cast of employee ID as varchar of say max. I'll keep it as max, and uh, we'll rename this as summary. Okay, and if I run this, this is what we will get a and a. And what we have to do? I'll keep this in a CTE with CTE as and here union all select from CTE a inner join uh, this organization chart table b on a dot employee id is equal to b dot manager id and here we'll use the b dot employee id and we'll do the concatenation here concat of uh, b dot employee id and this slash and then the uh, summary summary means nothing but the previous um, higher managers uh, manager data will be coming right so this is a dot summary and now let's run and see what is the output we are getting select star from ct and when we run this this is the output we get so if we get okay we are getting reverse way a is we are getting a and b we are getting b slash a and uh, C we are getting slash C slash A and all. So, okay, we want in the reverse way, right? So, I think uh, I have done mistake. So, we have to keep the first the A dot summary and then the B dot employee ID. So, this is my bad. Um, and now, if we run this, now we are getting A, A slash B, A slash C, A slash uh, C, F, everything. This is the entire data we are getting. So, now what we have to do as per the question. Uh, we need to uh, group all the employees under B uh, as one group and under C as one group. So what will we do? We have to assign some values to B and C. These two rows we have to filter out and assign some values. So how do we filter out? Let's see. So what I will do? Uh, we will simply use um, from this CT. Uh, what I will do? Select star from CT where length of uh, length of yeah, the length of this summary column is equal to length of. So 
what I'll do, I'll remove this slash here. So uh, replace and I remove the slash and replace with empty empty space. Summary, comma. Uh, so expression to be search, replace function, expression to be search, search expression and replacement. Search expression is this and replacement is this. Okay. And if I get this length, what are we getting? What is the length we are getting? Okay, nothing we are getting because we, uh, we are, if we remove this slash and if we replace with uh, empty space, uh, a slash b is there. A slash b and a slash c have to get the output. So what I'll do? I'll, I'll keep one plus one here. So what will what will we get? So yeah, now if I keep plus one, a slash b and a slash uh, c we are getting. So here what I'll do? I'll keep this. Um, uh, I'll create a row number. Row underscore number of over um, order by sorry order by this summary okay as um, uh, say group id we'll keep it as we'll re 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 name this column as group id and if I run this, this is what I am getting. So group ID 1 and 2 I am getting. I uh, will keep employee ID and summary as so. So star comma, I will keep all the columns. Let us keep all the columns. And uh, so yeah, for employee ID B, group ID is 1 and employee ID C, group ID is 2. So now all the employees under B directly or indirectly should be assigned group ID 1. And all the employees under C uh, should be assigned employee ID, sorry, group ID 2. So now how do we get this? Uh, we can directly use the like operator, right? So if you run this, um, if, because if you see this CT, right, we have A slash B slash uh, D and all, right? So I'll keep this in one more CTE called uh, say CTE 2 as and select from CTE to A inner join CTE B on a dot uh, a dot summary is equal to uh, sorry a dot summary like we have to use the like operator uh, percentage plus b dot summary plus percentage okay so for this first row a, a slash b so wherever this a slash b is coming, I'll assign it as group id 1 and wherever a slash c is coming, I'll assign it group id 2. And here it is, um, employee id, all the employees id is right. So b dot employee id comma a dot group id. Okay. So now let's see if we are getting correctly. So yeah, employee id a is coming group id 1, employee id B group ID 1, employee ID A is group ID 2, C is also group ID 2. So we need um, more lower data, right? So um, what is missing? So okay, I think uh, we have to you have to use the reverse way. So uh, sorry, B dot summary should be containing this A dot summary. So it's my issue, my bad. So then in, th in that way, we will get everything correctly. So yeah, now for B, it is coming group ID 1, D is group ID 1, E is group ID 1, G is group ID 1, and C and F are coming group ID 2, right? So now this is almost we got the, this data. Now uh, we have to, we also need to get the um, A A's value as group ID 1 uh, and group ID 2, right? So earlier we got, so we have to do that same thing. Uh, so A's ID to group ID 1 and 2 we have to get. So how do we do that? So same, same way we have done right earlier. Mm, A dot summary like B dot summary. And if I do this, what are we getting? Invalid object, sorry. So if I run this, what are we getting? So yeah, if you see, okay, let's do an order by, order by uh, group ID. Okay, and if I run this query, this is the output we are getting. So A, A, B, D, E, and G are all group ID 1 and A, C, F are group ID 2. So let us see from the input if it is matching. So A is, A is reporting, B is reporting to A, so group ID 1 
and D and D are reporting to B, so group ID 1 and G is reporting to D which is re which is indirectly reporting to B, so group ID 1 and again C and F are group ID 2. So this is how we uh, categorize all the employees in a hierarchy as per the groups. So hope you all like this question uh, and uh, also the solution. So if you have any other better solution, uh, you can ping in the comments and if you like this video, please click on the like button and also if you uh, want to see more videos in SQL and Power BI and also PySpark, you can click on the subscribe button. Thank you. Have a nice day.